uh, gets on the field against Miami, and it most assuredly will be at this juncture. Uh, there's no set of circumstances that uh, uh, we wouldn't play him with the hopes of winning that game and winning the rest of the ball games. So Jerry Jones is planning on playing Tony Romo even if the Cowboys' playoff chances are remote. Romo is eligible to return in two weeks against the Dolphins. Stephen A., do you agree with this thought process? Sure, why not? You're paying him. Why pay him for doing nothing? I'm proud of Jerry Jones. For once, he's not protecting and coddling and pacifying Tony Romo. I'm very touched by this, Kid Bayless. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. What Jerry Jones is doing is throwing him out there to the wolves and saying, go out there and earn your money like everybody else. We don't want you to get hurt. Obviously not, because we're winless without you. We've lost six straight. We haven't won a game since. Let me look. I'm sorry, Skip. Hold on for a second. Mm -hmm. Let me look at the exact date. All right. September 20th, mm. <laughs> almost two months mm. since you won a football game. Let me tell you something, man. I mean, I know that's got to hurt, you know, and, and hopefully his I will. I will confess this to you, Skip Bayless. I don't want Tony Roma to get hurt again. But also, I am actually rooting for y'all to win. Because Skip Bayless, I am a family man. I love my loved ones. And you know, Thanksgiving's coming up. And I don't want you guys to go into Thanksgiving having not won a game since September. I just think that's cruel. I think it's cruel and unusual punishment. I don't want to be that guy because Skip Bayless, contrary to what you try to bloviate out there about me, the Cowboys Nation, I am here to tell you, I care. I have a heart, okay? And I don't want you all to go into Thanksgiving when less than two months. Hold on. I'm getting a little bit emotional right now. Hold it. Okay. Okay, I really mean what I say. I wish nothing but the best for y'all. So if it takes Tony Romo, not 100%, throwing him out there to the wolves in order for you guys to finally win a football game, just one football game without Tony Romo, if that's what it takes, rushing him back, getting him ready to go, collarbone and all, who cares? You're a Dallas Cowboy. If that's what it takes, Skip, I understand. Mm. Thanksgiving is rapidly approaching. Whatever it takes. Mm. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Are you finished? Yeah. Yeah, you're finished. I could debate one statement you made about you have a heart. That's a debatable statement, but I'm going to leave oh, that be that, for that, right now. Oh, please. Well, you you oh, asked please. for that one, and you got no, it. Please. No, I didn't. Yeah, you no, did. I didn't. I'm actually a very nice guy, yeah. but no, I, you, no, you're right. Nobody needs to know that. Nobody mm. Don't tell nobody. You're right. No tell nobody. Let's keep that to ourselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. Back to Molly's question. Should Tony Romo play under any circumstance? Let's do the worst case scenario. Let's do my Cowboys lose at Jameis Winston this Sunday, where your Giants barely survived the other day. Let's say Dallas lose. They could easily lose this game. In fact, I think I saw the other day Tampa Bay's one and a half point favorite at home. It'll be dicey. No Sean Lee out with concussion protocol. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's say they lose it. They would fall to two and seven, and Tony Romo would return to a game at Miami. Now, Stephen A., if we are talking about the AFC East here that, that New England is clearly running away with, I would say, no, Tony, no. Do not play anymore. He had no surgery to repair a, a collarbone that he's broken now twice, same place but they thought it wasn't a big enough break for surgery, so they said, let's just let it heal on its own. Is it healed? They won't know until he gets out there and takes a couple of shots, gets pinned down on the ground a couple of times. But I am with Jerry Jones when he says, I want our fans to see just how strong this team could be down the stretch. Because in the NFC least, I still think my Cowboys would have a chance at two and seven. You can laugh all you want, but I dare any of, of you fans out there of this division. Go look at the rest of your Giants schedule and tell me that there aren't a bunch of losable games. We don't have time to go through the whole there. thing. We almost but lose every that's game. right, yeah. So they'll all be close. Can you win? Can, could you go nine and seven, Giants? Yep, you could. I look at the Eagles schedule. It's very easy for a time here because they got Miami at home, Tampa at home, at Detroit. They should get to seven and four. But then I look at the rest of the schedule when it starts at New England, and I'm thinking, I don't know. Could Philly crumble down the stretch and go nine and seven? 
Could my Dallas Cowboys with Tony Romo back win out? Could they win at Miami? Then these these yeah. are tough games now. They got Cam Newton on Thanksgiving at home. They have to go to Washington. They have to go to Aaron Rodgers. Revenge for last year? I don't know. Tough Jets at home at Buffalo in the snow probably in December. And then close with Washington at home. These are all tough games. But could Tony Romo get hot with Des Bryant getting healthy and they win those games and get to 9-7? and seven? It's possible in this year's NFCs. So I am with Jerry Jones. Take the plunge. Risk Tony Romo re-injuring his broken collarbone because I think this is the year when miracles could happen. But, 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 but Skip Bayless, um, I'm looking at the Dallas Cowboys schedule, and there are about six games that are not in the NFC East. I know that the NFC East is the NFC least. I do understand that. But some of these games, they, 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 you know, they're not, they're not the NFC. I mean, you got Washington I just read on this schedule twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So I'm yeah. like, you got the other teams to deal with. I mean, you're going to lose at Green Bay. You no, don't understand I don't that, know don't about you? that. You, you, you sure? I don't know. With Tony yeah, Romo yeah, against yeah, what's yeah. left of Aaron Rodgers, well, or as well, I call well, him, Mr. Rodgers. He's now Mr. Right. Rodgers' neighborhood up at Lambeau, right? right. He looks more okay, like Mr. You know Rodgers you know than Aaron Rodgers. You know what? That's I'm what gonna I'm saying. Isn't gonna, them beautiful I'm, I'm going to yeah. bite. I'm going to. I'm going to do and uh, you know. I'm not going to even imitate you, but I'm going to sit there and mirror your thoughts. I thank you for saying that about Aaron Rodgers. You're going to pay for that. You're gonna oh, pay for that, Skip Bayless. You're in a world of I'm trouble really because this, this is the, this bad. This is not the man to mess with. He's very upset. People have been messing with him week after Denver. week. I don't have blew to mess out, with blew him. Out with the, the blew the late do. game situation against Carolina last yeah. week. You're in trouble. You're in. You're gonna pay for that, Skip Wait. Bayless. You mark my words. The, you're gonna pay for talking about Aaron Rodgers like that with such. Disrespect. Wait. You watch your, you wait and see. You're gonna be in a world of trouble. I'm trying to tell you, you're gonna pay for that comment, Skip. Aaron Rodgers is gonna tear it up from here on out. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. I the, wait. The, the, the last I, two I gotta, weeks I was an aberration. Go Are ahead. We, we talking about Go. the same Aaron Rodgers who threw for a total of 77 yep. yards at Denver? Oh, it was 77? bad. It was bad. I mean, it Romo bad, rolls Skip. out of bed with 77 yards bad, passing. Skip. He gets it in the, the pregame. 77 yards? Really? Let me tell you something, Skip. Are you kidding Skip, me? Skip, you're going to pay for that statement. Aaron Rodgers got an attitude. Aaron Rodgers is very, very ticked off. Aaron Rodgers don't make those kind of mistakes the okay. way he made against Carolina in that late I'd game situation. Say. He certainly doesn't throw for 77 yards. Aaron Rodgers didn't lose back-to-back -back games. And the fact that you're sitting up there talking about him with such disrespect, boy, are you I'm going to pay. Facts. You just wait and see. I, you I'm just not wait having, and see. I don't even have to Listen, exaggerate. I'm not even worried about it. I, I actually was happy because I picked Carolina to beat Green Bay last week, and I was actually happy about the way that it ended because Aaron Rodgers is going to have a big-time attitude. I predict for the rest of this year, you will see nothing short of greatness from, from Aaron Rodgers. You mark my words. You mark it down. Y'all don't understand how bad this boy is. Mm. You're not appreciating them. I, You're just not. I haven't seen that okay. bad boy for a long time. Oh, I, I the saw disrespect. fourth and goal the from disrespect. the four. And Whatever. Aaron Rodgers admitted okay. after the game, I got scared. I saw something and I got scared. A pass rusher loomed in his face and he missed Cobb wide open. Just, just Fair enough. like here, pitch Fair and enough. catch. It's over. We, we, we tie. Enough. We go to overtime. Please. Nope. That's the bad man. He's just bad now. I don't know what's happened to him. You'll see. I, I kind of like my chances with the healthy Romo and Dez going back up to okay. Lambeau. I was surprised by by you saying that you wanted that you wanted Romo back in there, I, even I if they're in a big hole. Well, I mean, I'm just looking. It starts like your Giants. Yeah. Who, do, who do they get to play this weekend? Uh, the Patriots. Are we sure they're going to win that game, the Giants? Oh, I don't think so. For that. Well, I don't know. I'm a little scared one. of it, but I think I'll go with New no, England in that you're game. You're still going to go with New Well, and then I look at these other listen, games. Listen, and they, they, I they would got say to you, games. Skip Bayless. I would say to you, Skip Bayless, the hell with what everybody else in the NFC East is doing. You need to be concerned about whether or not your boys can win a game. I mean, demoralization is kicked in. They might need therapy before they win another game. I mean, you don't know that. They don't need therapy. I mean, they, they need are Romo. Down. Romo. That's it's all a I Romo need. Romo love. All yeah. right. Let's leave it there. Speaking of Dallas, Mark Cuban says he saved all of DeAndre Jordan's text messages from this summer. Wow. The Clippers are in Dallas tonight. Things might get a little awkward. We'll discuss.